Good afternoon, my fellow freedom fighters. Welcome to another great segment of walking on the Iroquois warpath. And when Captain Grizzly Bear and I, <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever saw my my pirate video when he when he got his name, Captain Grizzly. I will actually link that blog up to this video along with the blog. The, you know, as always, when you find my videos, it's the beginning of the conversation, and the conversation continues on my website. Well, um, the second link will be Webster Tarpley talking about the elite bankers and their master plan to control the world. But anyways, uh, yeah, after today's great march, I'm, go I'm going to be. Bear hasn't walked as far as I have, but... I tell you what, this summer we're getting a lot of great miles in on the Iroquois Warpath, but yeah, I'm going to be at 8,000, no, yeah, 8,801 miles in five and a half years, my friends. I'm really excited. I am um, closing in on my 9,000 miles right on target, knock on wood, where's the nearest tree? <laughs> oh no, I got to run to knock on the wood, but <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, I'm go I'm going I'm really happy cuz uh my I predicted knock on wood uh that I would be when I reached 6 years I knew I was going to be at 9000 miles because every year I get 1500 miles and I do le three three legs of 500 miles and um every 500 miles I change in a flag for a new one so and I my goal is to give these flags to present them to soldiers who have fought in this war or uh, units that have been over in the war or patriot groups like uh, the VFWs and the American Legions and now uh, extreme patriots like myself so I, um, I will always be presenting flags and always changing over and walking putting 500 more miles on a new flag but anyways the this subject is what do the Bilderberg and Bohemian Grove have in common right now as we speak and I found it very interesting uh, Roxy Lopez and let's see what's her name Roxy Lopez and Deborah Tavares has a show on the internet uh, it is part of the freedom what is it called the freedom the american freedom radio network and uh they have a radio program they have great guests on and uh their guests that they interview about the bilderberg and as you guys all know a lot of people know this but some people don't the bilderberg bohemian the people in the bohemian grove uh the uh, the Council on Foreign Relation, Relations, and all all these different secret societies, they they they're all linked together. It's it's just a bunch of bullshit. But anyways, um, yeah, go check it out. At the when when uh, this video ends, go down to the bottom of the video, click on the first link, and it will take you to a blog that I have about uh, Bohemian Grove and Bilderberg. I found it very interesting that. Uh, as soon as they got started with their the the following week was uh, that massacre and it, yes it's all connected connected these elite people have been ruling the world for a very long time we find ourselves in the age of enlightenment my friends we are winning we are winning this war against these terrible bastards of tyranny and and I, I i love it you know uh keep up the great work and uh you you'll enjoy roxy lopez and um and deborah taveras in uh the interview with uh anthony holder is is the guy they interview i'm sorry i didn't include I, i'm so excited about talking about this stuff that i sometimes i I get carried away and I forget to mention something. So I didn't forget <laughs> they are interviewing uh, Anthony Hilder. Um, let's see. I think I have. Oh, he's a talk show host. Uh, 
investigative reporter and a war correspondent. So go check it out. Bilderberg, Bohemian Grove, make the connection and pass my videos to your friends, pass my website to your friends. My story, just think, if this was like the 1970s, I'd be on a Wheaties box by now. But it's never been about Terry Ronzio. It's always been about uniting the people. I am a uniter. Unlike talk radio, they've been dividing people. Uh, they've been keeping patriots divided and stupid for 11 years now. Talk radio. That's what that's what they should say every every day when Fox News or wherever you get your talk radio shows, like Michael Savage, uh, Glenn Beck, all those assholes that are lying to you, keeping you stupid. That's what it should say. Talk radio, keeping American patriots divided. Talk radio, keeping American patriots divided and stupid for 11 years now. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Go check out my blogs. Pass them to your friends. We are the resistance. Hear our mighty roar for freedom. I love doing that. <laughs> See you later.